Oh, and that looks like a problem. It is a problem. And they pull it off, and it's all gone wrong. Well, the winners of round two retire from round three with a mechanical problem. And that's the second time in two races. Dixon now the man in front with Beeland in second, Brindley in third place. So this is now the battle for the lead, and battle it is as Beeland closes in. Brindley's there, and so Steve Abbott. So it's Great Britain first, third, and fourth at the moment. As Dixon, you can see, uses up all of the Assen circuit, stirring the dust as he runs wide. And stirring that box of tricks for the Goodell brothers to see if they can find out what it is they keep doing to the... Oh! Darren Dixon had the wheel of that right off the ground. Andy Hetherington was right in the middle. He was moving across for the next corner. They come thick and fast at Assen, and he was in transit from one side of the machine to the other, and that wheel came clear off the ground. Dixon's still there, though. That's Brindley, and that's Abbott, and that's Bornhorst. Where is Beeland? What has happened to Rolf Beeland? He was right there, and now he isn't. And it rather looks as though the reigning world champion has just become the defending world champion. Peter Brown's head is actually touching the ground there. There's no doubt about it. That was striking sparks from the tarmac. And there is Beeland. And I think there's sparks flying between him and Voltisberg at the moment because that's another mechanical retirement. Abbott right on Brindley's tail, but not for long. Through he comes. Very decisive moves. We've seen it from Steve Abbott time and time again this year. When he wants to pass, he just passes, doesn't he? There's no messing about and buy your leave and would you mind or anything like that. He just goes straight through and does it. He's now in second place and chasing after Darren Dixon, who is on course to win and to win for the second time and really reinforce his championship lead. Bornhorst obviously been off on the grass and is in the process of rejoining. Smoking a bit, I think that's a cruise back to the pits. It looks as though that one's all over and finished. Here's what happened. And, well, not a moment ago we were saying Peter Brown had his head on the ground and it is touching the ground. His elbow's on the ground and that machine's trying to shake him off and it is fishtailing wildly and they just get off onto the grass and bounce to a halt there was something dangling underneath and that's all gone wrong for them so they retired Dixon is in the lead now and Dixon is looking fairly comfortably in the lead no immediate pursuit he's still pushing it through this little chicane onto the start finish straight there's Abbott a long way back. Dixon wins it. And it is win number two for Darren Dixon. Steve Abbott across the line in second place.